All right, here we go. Question number 13 from our 1316 homework number one in my lab math. And they want us to find the exact value of the sine of 10 pi. Notice it says, it says do not use a calculator, uh, but we're going to use a calculator anyway in the end. But let me show you how to do this by hand first, okay? So remember that in the unit circle, sine is y, cosine is x, tangent is y over x. So since we're looking for sine of theta, theta is an angle, sine is y, that means we're looking for the y coordinate of the ordered pair at 10 pi. 10 pi is not in this circle, so I'm going to show you how to get to it, okay? Notice if I start at zero and go around to 180, that is 1 pi. If I keep going, next I get to 2 pi. So notice, notice that every time I make a full circle, I travel a distance of 2 pi, okay? So then what if I keep going and make another circle? That would be 4 pi, right? Because 2 pi and another 2 pi, that's 4 pi. And if I keep going, that would be 6 pi. Keep going, that would be 8 pi. One more time, 10 pi. So 10 pi is equivalent to, well, really zero, okay? In other words, if I were to make a, a trip around the circle five times, five times two is 10, that's going to get me to 10 pi. Now, what is the ordered pair there? The ordered pair is one comma zero. Sine is y. So what is the y coordinate? Well, it's zero, okay? So I would expect the answer to be zero. Now, let's show you how to use the calculator to check. So the first thing I want to do is I want to check and see what mode I'm in. On the calculator, I can actually see a little R up here at the top, which means I'm in radians. And so I can go ahead and type this problem in just the way it looks, because that angle, 10 pi, is a radian. And I'm in radians. If I hit equal, I better get zero. Bam. And that checks that I'm right. And that verifies it. Man, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.